Well, Tillo, thanks for joining us on Latix TV. We're talking out of the game against Birmingham City on the weekend, but just a quick reflection on last week. I know the result didn't go our way in the end, but I suppose the message in this week, there's things to take and we've got to rebuild and, and go again this weekend. Yeah, that's definitely what you've got to do. You know, um, if you don't get a positive uh, result on the weekend, then taking the positives and keeping the morale high, it's really important. And looking at that Preston game, I think the frustration is we've got the goal and, and we were seen in relative control and it was just that start of that second half and then and it just kind of got away with, from us a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, they came out obviously fast being the home team. Um, you know, they were always going to come out fast after half time. Um, and of course, maybe we can deal with that uh, a bit better and maybe control the game. Um, but all, all these things, you know, they'll make us stronger in the long run. Um, you know, and now we've we've got a chance to put it right. And you say a chance to put it right. A couple of days out from Birmingham City. If you're going to get, if you're going to be successful in, in what you want to do at the end of the season, games at home against teams like this, you've got to try and get results, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, we saw that we could hurt them last time at their ground, and um, even with ten men, we got a really good result. Uh, so we'll be looking and um, trying to replicate that. And I was just going to ask you that because obviously we got the result at St Andrews early in the season. Can you take things from that, or is it more focusing on what we we can do to Birmingham City? Yeah, uh, whenever you're the home team, you're always going to try and impose yourself on the team, um, and I know the fans will want to see that as well. Um, so yeah, you know, it's all about us, and um, of course we'll we'll do our analysis and stuff on the team, but. We really want to show what we can do and how we can hurt them. And how has the move been in, in camp this week? Obviously the first defeat under the gaffer, but it's been relatively positive, hasn't it, in this last month or so? Yeah, we've tried to look at it as in um, the last five games, you know, it's been a, a positive block. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, all we can do is just try and carry on and keep the morale high. And for you, for the gaffer, he plays in a similar position in, into where you like to be. Um, how has it been working with you? Because with what he what he did in the game, it must be brilliant for you to, to yeah. learn and, and gain tips off him almost. Definitely, you know, individually uh, for players like me, Langi, Kino, Sanani, um, for for the gaffer to be there, and obviously he's been there and done it. So it's it's just how good we can take on the information and uh, try and replicate it on the pitch. And there's five games now before I think the international break. Five games in about two weeks. So how important is this period now to try and pick up as many points before the break and put yourselves in a good position to attack the last set of games then? Yeah, absolutely. You know, some some positive results will definitely leave us in a good stead for the last chunk of games. Um, and that international break, I know, will be good to um, to reset and stuff like that. So to get as many points as we can on the board before that break, that'll be great. And last late, 4,000 fans almost went to Preston last weekend. We're going to need them here and we're going to need them for the rest rest of the season. How important and how big of an impact can they have on the on the pitch to, for you and yeah, the lads? Yeah, absolutely. It can't be, you know, it can't be emphasised enough how much um, they'll help, you know, on the pitch as players looking up and they're spurring us on. So um, just for that to be continued, that'll be great.